Hello again. Uh, this is my second day, uh, second actual unit, and we're going to get started. Uh, give you a brief, a brief rundown on the history. Uh, apparently, the gentleman that had owned this unit uh, passed away, and the storage facility had contacted his ex-wife, and on several different occasions. In fact, they held it back from going to auction about three times. Is what the gentleman told me. And she just refused. She didn't want anything to do with it. So we are going to go through it. Um, there is some furniture. Uh, looks like some fishing gear. Uh, there's a small chest freezer and a bunch of totes. So we're going to crack into it and see what we can find. That is one large uh, honing steel. And a Stanley thermos. Otherwise, this is most. This is just uh, three looking to be empty tubs, other than some dirt and dry leaves. Not one. Stuff stuck in the bottom. That's just a oh, that doesn't smell very pleasant. Nothing important stuck in the bottom of that one. All right, what do we have here? Oh, that is a space bag that has a coat. Oh, that is one heavy-duty coat. And it looks like it's hardly been worn. Dry clean only. This is a comfy brand. Be worth a that might be worth a five or a tenner at a at a yard sale. says prone B ultra something that's filter and air I'm not exactly sure what that is I'll have to look that one up Some personal stuff. Looks like uh, he adopted a pet at some time. A pair of socks, old hat. And some fishing type stuff. Hmm. This, paired with that other thing, that might be some sort of oxygen device. We'll have to, because this is definitely an oxygen tube, we'll have to take a look and see, look into that and see what it does. And more fishing gear, there's uh, some, some weights. How about this? I'm going to just take the miscellaneous stuff out of this one. Let's here for just a moment. And I'm going to make this one 
fishing stuff. Or at least loose fishing stuff. This is just a bag with some fishing stuff in it. More personal stuff. Photo. That is a tire gauge. I'm just going to throw out the fishing stuff for now. I think it is a cast iron Dutch oven. I always wanted one, but never had one. And of course, this is some ratcheting wrenches, more ratcheting wrenches. Miscellaneous tools, oh, fish and reel, fish and stuff. Miscellaneous tools, but that is a fairly nice carry bag for tools. Oh, ah. best thing in the world, WD 40. Interesting story about that. WD stands for water displacement. 40 means it was the 40th recipe they were trying. It was originally developed with the uh, with uh, NASA. They were trying to find something that could keep rust off, but yet um, be a good lubricant. Didn't work. Actually, that's not what they were intending it for. That's what it does. Um, I'll have to look it up. Maybe uh, update this video later with what they were actually trying to do. But it was for NASA. That's where it came from. Note to self, always undo all the clips. That is a tool set that looks mostly complete, not all complete. And there's a bunch of miscellaneous screws and nuts and bolts and that kind of thing. So, more tools. We'll throw the nuts and bolts in the tools. idea what this is. There was another one in there too. Must be some sort of tool thing. I guess we'll have to look that up and see what that's about. And here is a nice little space heater. Not one I would ever need, but uh, again, garage sale. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Nice little leather case. I guess it's a tape measure of some sort. Oh no, it's not. Gloves are great at protecting, but they're not so great at necessarily getting in tight spaces. Okay, this is an Ainsworth. I'm believing this is some sort of compass. Yes, it is. 
Looks like a fancier one than just a standard one. Oops, telephone call. Hello? Come by? Yeah, just a second. <laughs> 